AI can now see what your code actually does in the browser. This is not some fake demo. Your coding agent can debug your active Chrome session, click buttons, read errors, fix bugs all by itself. This changes everything for developers. Let me show you why this is crazy. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Okay, so here's what just happened. Chrome Dev Tools just got an update that lets AI coding agents actually see and control your browser, not just write code, not just suggest fixes. They can actually open Chrome, click around, read the console, find bugs, and fix them. This is wild. Let me explain why this matters and why you need to know about this right now. So first, what even is Chrome Dev Tools? If you've ever built a website or debugged anything on the web, you know Dev Tools is that panel you open in Chrome where you can inspect elements, check the console for errors, watch network requests, and see performance metrics. Every developer uses it. It's how you figure out why your button isn't working or why your page is loading slow. It's the standard tool for debugging web stuff. Pretty straightforward. Now, here's where it gets interesting. There's this thing called MCP. It stands for Model Context Protocol. What MCP does is it lets AI models like ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Cursor, and Copilot connect to real tools. Think of it like a bridge. Before MCP, AI could only write code for you. It couldn't actually run that code or see what happens. It was basically blind. With MCP, AI can now plug into tools like Chrome DevTools and actually see what's happening in real time. So Chrome DevTools MCP is basically a server that connects AI agents to Chrome DevTools. What does that mean in practice? It means your AI coding assistant can now launch Chrome, navigate to your website, open the developer console, read error messages, inspect the DOM, check network requests, and even click buttons or fill out forms. It's like giving your AI agent eyes and hands inside the browser. This is huge because AI was always limited to just suggesting code without knowing if it actually worked. Here's why this update is insane. Before this, the workflow was like this. You ask AI to write some code. AI gives you code. You copy it. You paste it into your project. You run it something breaks, you go back to AI, you explain the error, AI gives you new code, you try again. It's this back and forth loop that wastes so much time. You're basically the middleman between the AI and the actual browser. And the AI has no clue what's really happening on your page. The latest update makes this even better. Chrome announced you can now seamlessly switch between manual and AI assisted debugging. What this means is you can work in dev tools yourself, then hand control over to the AI when you want, then take back control whenever you want. It's a hybrid workflow. You're not locked into one or the other. Maybe you manually inspect the DOM to understand the structure. Then you ask AI to fix the performance issues it finds. Then you take back control to verify. It's flexible, it's fast. It's what people have been asking for. Now, let me show you how this actually works in practice. First, you need to install the Chrome DevTools MCP server. It's on NPM. You just run NPM install Chrome DevTools MCP. Pretty simple. Then you configure your MCP client. This could be Cursor, Copilot CLI, Claude Code, Gemini CLI, whatever tool you use, you point it to the MCP server. Then when you ask your AI assistant to debug something, the MCP server spins up a Chrome instance with remote debugging enabled. The AI can now interact with that Chrome instance through MCP. Here's what that looks like. You give the AI a prompt like, hey, my homepage has a JavaScript error on load. Can you find it and fix it? The AI launches Chrome through MCP. It navigates to your homepage, it opens the console, it sees the error. Let's say it's an undefined variable. The AI reads through your JavaScript files, finds where that variable should be defined, adds the definition, reloads the page, and confirms the error is gone. All of this happens automatically. You don't touch anything. The AI literally does what you would do manually, but way faster. At this point, you might be thinking, okay, this sounds amazing, but how do I actually use this? Let me tell you about the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we teach you how to save time, and automate your business with AI tools like Chrome DevTools MCP. We break down exactly how to set these tools up, how to integrate them into your workflow, and how to use them to speed up development. If you're serious about using AI to handle debugging and testing automatically, this is where you learn the full process. Check the link in the description. All right, back to DevTools MCP. One thing I need to mention is there are um, limitations right now. Some users report issues with authentication, like if you need to log into your app to test something, the Chrome session that MCP launches might not keep your session tokens. 
This can make it hard to debug authenticated flows without workarounds. It's not a deal breaker, but it's something to be aware of. The community is working on solutions, and this will probably get better over time. Another thing is you need to be careful about security. You don't want to run MCP against production data or apps with sensitive information. Use isolated browser profiles, test on staging or local environments. MCP gives AI a lot of control, so you want to make sure you're not exposing anything risky. This is just basic security practice, but worth mentioning. Now, here's why this is such a game changer for the industry. Think about what AI coding tools have been able to do up until now. They generate code, they auto-complete, they suggest refactors, but they've always been limited by not being able to see the actual runtime behavior. They don't know if the code they wrote actually works. They don't know what errors pop up. They don't know how the page looks or performs. They're working blind. With Chrome DevTools MCP, that blind spot is gone. AI can now validate its own work. It can test and fix in real time. This makes AI coding assistance actually useful for more than just boilerplate generation. For developers, this means way less time debugging. You're not doing the guess, fix, repeat cycle anymore. The AI handles most of that. You can focus on higher level problems, architecture decisions, user experience, business logic, the tedious stuff like fixing console errors or optimizing load times. AI can handle that. This shifts what your job looks like. You become more of a supervisor than a line by line coder. And this works across all the major AI tools, Cursor, Copilot, Claude Code, Gemini, CLI, they all support MCP. So no matter what tool you're using, you can plug in Chrome DevTools MCP and get these capabilities. The ecosystem is already there. The community is growing. People are sharing configs, prompts, and workflows. It's moving fast. And look, if you want to master AI tools like Chrome DevTools, MCP, and actually implement them in your workflow, check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we show you exactly how to use these cutting edge AI debugging tools to automate your development process and save hours every single day. We break down the setup, the prompts, the workflows, everything you need to make AI handle your testing and debugging automatically. Link is in the description. If you want the full process, SLPs, and over a hundred AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab it's our free AI community links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. We share tools, workflows, and strategies for using AI to save time and get better results. If you're serious about staying ahead with AI, this is where you need to be. All right, that's Chrome DevTools MCP. This update is genuinely insane. AI can now see your browser, debug your code, and validate fixes automatically. If you're a developer or you work with developers, you need to know about this. Try it out, share your results, and drop a comment below if you have questions. Julian reads every single one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.